beautiful friends. I'm here today to share a project with you as part of the celebration YouTube hop for the lovely Gwen who is celebrating her first anniversary on YouTube. Um, you'll find the link to all the participants in this hop down in my description box below. So the theme for this was to be inspired by Gwen's signature style. I have taken as many elements as I could, um, slotting them into my personal preferences at the moment. So I've got that cut file, which is of course from Cut To You, um, the sweetest, you are the sweetest, you are the sweetest. And I have also cut some donuts out. Now this is a very short video, but it has been really, really heavily edited. I had, I think, nearly two hours of footage because this layout just did not come together easily for me. I got really super stuck um, and I've left this little bit in so that I can just talk you through that. I did get really, really super stuck with it and actually went to Gwen uh, to get some input from her. I think because not that we, our styles are really quite similar, but what I got stuck on was the embellishing because she um, she has a really unique uh, embellishment style and I was trying to make that happen and it just didn't didn't come naturally for me. So um, uh, yeah, this is very heavily edited to take out all of the fussing around that I did. You can see off to the left there, I've also got some pattern paper strips that I had played around with and they didn't make it on. So the final layout, as you will shortly see, once I've finished pulling all of these teeny tiny little bits of backing off, um, the final layout is really quite simple, um, but I think it has met the brief. So I've got my stitched border which is classic Gwen. I have my cut file which is also classic Gwen for um, anyone that doesn't already know Gwen owns and runs the cut to you store which I am a member of the design team for. Uh, I've used a 4x4 square photo which is also part of um, Gwen's signature style and her unique um, I believe she calls them falling embellishment clusters um, that's also part of her signature style. So I had those donuts that I had already cut out and backed with pattern paper, but they just weren't working. And I realized that it was because I had the white on white. It just, it didn't really work. So I went back off to my uh, software and to my machine and I recut some of the donuts in a few different sizes from some patent paper and then I backed them with some white cardstock and that definitely made all of the difference. Also having the extras and having them in a slightly smaller size did make a big difference as well. So this is a little bit different for me because I have used pattern paper to cut my cut files out. If you have watched uh, any of my previous videos or if you've been around with me for a little while, you will know that usually I tend to cut from white cardstock and back with pattern paper, but not this time. I really, really love the look of that title with the, the pattern paper um, backed with white. So that's something that I think I'm going to try out a little bit more for some future layouts because I really like the way that it looked or well, that it looks. Okay, so here we are. I, as I said, I cut out a huge chunk of this. So um, I'm still fussing around a little bit, but honestly, there was uh, like an hour of trying to get embellishments to work. I had pulled out a lot more than I end up using. Um, and yeah, it's because of the de because of the, the design of this page and those donuts, the donuts almost are an embellishment in themselves. So I was trying to do too much. After consulting with Gwen, I realized that less would definitely be more when it came to embellishing. And I went ahead and I went and cut some of these really super sweet little stitched bows out from some coordinating pattern paper. And then I'm using those as embellishments as well. So like I said, it's going to be quite simple. I will have some embellishments there up on the top left. I will have a few more scattered along the right hand side of the page. 
the camera and I think I add a couple of little extra pieces down below the bottom left of the title and then I've just got a really small a couple of embellishments uh, underneath my journaling. Uh, these little chevron pieces that you're seeing me placing down now I have got a chevron punch and I've so rarely used it but I used it on a layout recently and it was really a really nice finishing touch it's a really great way to help lead the eye in across the page so I grabbed that out for this and punched out some again some coordinating pattern papers and I'm just popping those in to help to draw the eye back in towards the page because there is uh, quite a lot of movement going on around the page having those little chevrons pointing in helps to direct all the attention back into the middle which is obviously where everything is happening I've got my photo of my sweet boy and um, the journaling about the pink donut bribe at the shops uh, so I think this is the last little finishing touch here just some of these little gold foil hearts which I'm going to place scattered around the page and as you can see fussing around with it there uh, that's that will be it once I've got these gold hearts down so it really is short and sweet of course I do have some close-up photos coming in just a moment if you want to take a look at those and as I mentioned at the beginning of my video please go ahead and take a look down in my description box below and make sure that you check out the videos of all all the lovely ladies who are participating in this YouTube hop to celebrate Gwen's first anniversary on YouTube. So I will leave it there and say thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.